Alrighty, welcome back everybody to day two of the 2024 City of Sydney titles. On track come the novices for their pre-final. Round they head. And on track in one, Jacob Harris. Out of two, Cameron McGrath. From three, Chase Attard. Out of four, Ryder Jong. From five, Rodney Belbowen. Out of six, Zaid Hamilton. From seven, Jacob Molly. Out of eight, Lucas Dawn. From nine, Mia Schellenberg. Out of 10, Jeremiah Seshi. Out of 11, John Luca Romeo. They are the drivers. Heading down through the higher card circuit, double apex right-hander negotiated, and up the hill to the carousel they go. Roll-up lap about to be completed. Then they're going to go through the shortcut, and we will be green lights for go. Up past the jumping pillar. I said it all day. I want to go. I want to bounce on the jumping pillar. <laughs> Can somebody organise that? Get me a rope. I want to go and jump on the top. It looks awesome. <laughs> Down through the bus stop, around, grandstand, right hander they go. Now they'll slow it all down and come through the shortcut and get ready for a start. Can anybody go with the parking rocket, Jacob Harris? He's been absolutely on fire all weekend long, and I see no difference in his form yet. I think he's going to be really one to watch. McGrath and Attard and Jong will absolutely be trying their best to get at him. But boy, oh boy, has he been fast. Track temperature will already be up a little bit higher than yesterday as the sun has come out mighty early. We are expecting 39 degrees today. Through the shortcut they go. All in formation, then ready to go. Harris McGrath, Atar Jong, about to lead them away. And first race of the day then, the novices about to turn fuel into noise and go green light, racing and away we go. Down into turn, did McGraw get the hot, Harris get it, oh I think he did, yet again. Now they're all bunching up behind through the retro cart in Australia, left hander, back towards me they steam into, oh there's two, three, four going around, big dramas at the back, huge dramas, no problems for the lead pack. But massive dramas at the back of two or one at least is on the grass. Oh, disaster. So we've got a couple who are going to play catch up in the pre final. That is big dramas. Schellenberg is one of them. Molly is the other. Somebody's on the grass. Oh, my goodness. Massive dramas early door, but no such dramas for the flyer. Harris is absolutely stonking away already. He's already getting pursued and they're after him. Down they come, down the hill for the first flyer. Into the level apex right-hander, up towards the flags. Around they go. In second place, McGrath. Attard's with him. Up the hill they go to the carousel. Past the jumping pillar they'll head. Through the left now. Making their way back down the hill then. Into the sweeper now they come. Then rapidly scooting down the short chute to the bus stop. Past the grandstand. Through the left, then the right, into the grandstand, right-hander. Attard desperate to get past, but he just can't make his move yet. McGrath holds, over the line they go, down the start, finish straight, buzzing the tower, into retro cart in Australia. Back towards me, Harris, McGrath, Attard, Bill Bowen, Xiong. Through club, underneath the tower. Through they go. Seshi's in seven, Dawn's in six, Schellenberg eight, Molly nine, Hamilton's out, Romeo's out. Dramas early on then, as the back markers unfortunately playing catch up with a long way to go. And they're still battling very, very hard. So Schellenberg and Molly are having a right ding dong. Oh, somebody else has stopped, that's the number four, I'm sure he went through earlier. I think there's a drama for Seshi. That cart is definitely coasting, there's been a problem. So Seshi's also on an issue. Up the hill go the rest. Harris still leads for McGraw and Attard. And Attard really pushing hard. 
Attard getting after this. He wants to go P2. Desperate to get by. He wants a front row start for the final. Then he may well be able to grab onto the back of Harris and stay with him. He's looking every which way but loose. He wants to make the move. He can't go through yet. He's desperate. On they go. He's really hustling him. Down the front straight away. They had plenty of laps left in this one. Into retro karting Australia. They go past the boys. Down they come back towards me and towards Club yet again. Still Harris, McGrath, Rattard, Belpau and John Thorne. Sessi, Schellenberg, Molly is having drama. Trying to get by. We'll hook on with them in a minute when they come back towards me. Here they come now as they come through retro karting Australia. Still the battle rages with these two. And they're down near the back looking still going on. The 32 and 33 having in everything. On they head past me. Into Mackers. Big slide on the exit to the tower. Into the hairpin now. The pair of them still going at it. Now we come back with the leader down the hill to the double apex right hander, Jacob Harris. One minute 25.147. He is absolutely smoking them. 0.7 of a second advantage over anybody on this circuit. And he is flying again. Past the jumping pillow. Now they come back down. The short shoot to the bus stop gets the head down again. He's still in serious race mode. Even with a huge advantage, he is not going to slow down. Attard backing it in to Grandstand Corner. Still Harris, McGrath, Attard, Belbow and Jong, Dawn, Schellenberg, Molly and Seshi. Hamilton out, Romeo out. Back towards me they come. Leader, big, big lead. Here he goes. Still Attard, desperate to have a crack. Look at this behind them though. Another big battle. And Bell Bowen is hanging on, but right as Young giving him hustles all the way up through the hairpin pass markers. Now back down on themselves through the next hairpin into the complex of the higher car track and up the hill they go. Change of direction, left then right, through the short through, onto the tower and back towards me they go. Leaders already coming back down. Through goes Harris into the level apex right hander. McGrath and out on follow. Behind them, this battle once again. Bell Bowen, Young, through they go. Oh, he looked to go inside, he changed the line. That was too far away for that move. He didn't lose go of the brakes and the line was well off. But still, Young is pushing up the hill. In they go, into the carousel. Now they come back down while well, the leaders are already on their way. And Young, right wheel Bell Bowen and not letting him out of his sight. Down they come, down the short shoot, into the bus stop. Right on his tail again. Right up the bumper. Closes through the turn. Needs to get the slip three but can't. Down they all go to retro cart in Australia. Leader come back towards me. Harris still with a big, big lead. Two he goes. Behind him, a growing at on. Two and three. Still nose to tail. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Out of my sight. Atard's gone through. He's up to two. New second place. McGrath's been passed. Atard, he's up to two. Oh, it's going to go wide, side by side. He's going to fight back now. He's been passed again. What a battle. It's all going on. He looks over the shoulder. McGrath's got him back again. On they go up the hill. And now we've got a three-way behind. We'll hook on in a minute, but these two coming back down. It's on between McGrath and Atard. Atard's got him once, and there's still four laps to go. The pair of them slugging it out for second place. They both want it desperately. Through they go, the double apex right-hander. Meanwhile, they've got, oh no, that's a NASA panel up in the air. And that is a massive drama. He will be going nowhere. I don't know if that, that's Jong trying to work out, but that NASA panel, oh dear, yeah, that's, that's curtains. He's trying to push it down. And unfortunately, that is going to go nowhere. So that's going to be a uh, an issue because clearly he can't see where he's going. I think he's going to have to uh, drive sideways. He's coasting, so clearly he's going to stop. And I'm thinking he's going to get himself to a safe position and do just that. But uh, yeah, the NASA panel, it just won't go down. So he's going to pull over. Unfortunately, that's it. 
All right, there we go. He stopped. And it was unfortunately Schellenberg. So Schellenberg's out. Meanwhile, let's get back with the action. And they continue on. Harris goes up the hill. This is lap number six. Two to go after this one. He's in a big world of his own. He can almost stop for a cup of tea. And the Stanger, he's that far in front. He's going to do the merry dance this weekend for sure. He's absolutely roasting them. Jacob Harris is flying behind them. McGrath and Attard still having an absolute cracker of a race. Up the hill they go. Again, Bill Bowen right there with Jong still going at it, the pair of them. Up the hill they go, rapidly heading towards the carousel. Do the carousel and back down the hill. There goes Harris into the bus stop. Past grandstand right-hander behind him. Chasing hard still, McGrath, Attard, two and three. Then this massive trap, Bell Bowen and Jong again, right up his bumper, giving it everything he's got. He just can't ever find a way through. Use the line all really wide up to the start finish line. Then goes a wide entry down into retro cart in Australia. Now he's going to come back up towards club. He goes wide again. Young throwing everything as well as the kitchen sink at this one. He is desperate to get by. Round they go under the tower. Back towards backers. Up the hill they'll go. Young giving him everything. Do they go into the hairpin? Back towards us again. Up the hill once more. Underneath me now, the 33. Young Molly continues. Behind Molly, Lucas Dawn continuing. Underneath the tower. While the leader's already going up and heading into the carousel. Surely Attard's going to have one more go at this because this is going to be white flag time. One to go. And I'm thinking Jong may well throw something in at the last lap. They'll be just Oh, I've lost one of them. No, I haven't. That's the back marker. So there is the leader. Heading round. Grandstand corner now through the right hander and down the front straight away. Here they go. He's closer again. He's even closer. Attard. Oh, backed it in. Big slide. Almost let loose and down the front straight away they go. He's having another look at him. He goes inside. Oh, he's going to go side by side. He threw it in. He couldn't get it done. Oh, he almost pushed on, but just couldn't get it. McGrath looks over the left shoulder, checking out where he is. Desperation time. And he just can't get at him. Back marker in the way for Harris. That's Sessi. He'll be careful in the game. Young. Oh, Ryder Sean is going to have a go. You look, oh, he's going to go. Oh. oh, he pulled out. He showed the inside line nose, and he just didn't make the move. He just can't get past. There'll be no dramas for Harry. Oh, Harris can't find the way round. Harris can't get past the back marker. He's got to be careful. Oh, he moved out of the way. Well done. The, saw the flags. There she moved out of the way. Well done to that driver. The blue flags were waving furiously. And he just nosed it out of the way. He, the pre-final then. The novices at the 2024 City of Sydney titles. And it is time to say the magic words for Jacob Harris through the bus stop, the pre-final, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Jacob Harris, second, now he's going to hold him, Cameron McGrath, third, Chase Attard, fourth, who's it going to be, oh, he's going to hold him, Bill Bowen gets four. That's what I like to see. A little bit of hang 10 from the kids. Well done to the boys. What a cracker first heat of the day. Balbaum was four. John was five. It was a great race. Molly six. Dawn seven. Seshi eight. Schellenberg, Hamilton and Romeo unfortunately did not finish the heat. But that was a cracker start to the day. So well done to them all. They'll be out for their final later on. And we're back with the next live feed very soon.